Are you trying to create a Pokemon ROM hack? Are you having problems because tutorials aren't in English? Because people who know how to make these are pricks, or because the tutorials are just plain too confusing. Well, I'm here to help. I'm going to teach you today the very basics of making a map for your Pokemon ROM hack. So the first thing you need to do is download Advanced Map. This is the best software you can get for making your ROM hack. It's the common place everyone uses, and you're not going to get any viruses while you're trying to download it. Now once you have that, you're going to need to get yourself a ROM. Get Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire. Which one you get doesn't really matter, just one of those. Because although you can use Leaf Green and Fire Red, I don't recommend it. Because one, you're going to get the same experience anyway if you use uh, Ruby, Emerald, or Sapphire. Two, people are going to criticize you if you use it because they're pricks. And three, it's just harder to get them out there because no one really looks at those threads for that kind of ROM. So once you get your ROM, you go into File, open it up like I just showed you, and you can go into From Header, and this is where all your map files will be. You have, well I have mine in here already, but this would be the first town little route. We would have Route 8, Route 25, Three, three Island, you know, just your commonplace stuff that the game comes with. Then you can go into your map files, and you'll have to create a new file. I already have a bunch of them in here. And you open that up. There you go. And this is where you should create your map files. Because you have a blank canvas here. What you do here won't alter any of the map files up here. This is just your blank canvas. So let me just get rid of all this to begin with. I was working on something earlier. Once you get this open, the first thing that you should take a look at is going to be that little thing in the corner that says border block. That is what surrounds your map here in the black parts. So as you can see right now, I have a muddy grass type texture. We're going to get rid of that and turn it into trees. One, two, three. Now that's one way you can do this. Here when you're altering your border block, you have to do it one at a time. Out here, when you're doing that, you can do it one at a time. Select each tile from your little area here, and there you go. Or, you can hold down control and right click it, and that'll open up the gross selector, and then you can just place that. And once you get a few of those, you can do it again out here on your map, and boom. Now we're creating a forest in no time. Now, one thing I need to mention is when you select a tile, you left click on it. However, if you're out on your map and you see something you want to use, like this tree for example, or maybe this grass, because I already have the tree selected, you can left click that and it'll automatically take you to that tile. I'll show you again down here, say, I'm using this water, left click the grass, takes you up to the grass. Real easy. Now, the last thing we need to talk about is inserting a map. This is really easy, but it's also really confusing. You're going to click this button right here for insert map and then you're going to choose what you want. So we'll just say Bank 22, which it won't let me move, let me show you. You're going to come up here in your From Header, this is Bank 22, and you're going to open up, you have 22.0 and 22.1. So we want to insert it to 22.0. 22.0, replace. Now from here, this is where you need to know what you're doing. This is where it gets confusing and hard to figure out. Select specify searched area from, and then here you're going to type dollar sign, where's the dollar sign? There it is, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think it's 6, maybe it's 5, we'll find out. It's 6, 6 zeros, dollar sign, 1, 8, 6 zeros. You just select the top one, repoint, and we have an error. So we'll do it again. Select here, dollar sign. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Select, OK, search done, repoint. Cannot change by the kind of file, please. I will revolt. Well, that's a problem. And it did it anyway. OK, well, despite our little hiccup there, as you can see, we now have our map inserted here in this bank. So that's all we're going to do today. Next time, I'll teach you more advanced placement, how to change names, how to change weather, how to change the side of your map, all the more advanced map stuff. But this is just the simple, what you need to know to start creating your ROM hack.